Hello, everybody. Hope you're having a good Tuesday afternoon. It's Javier, and today we're going to be talking about houses you absolutely need to avoid. I went out looking at some houses this weekend, and it's just infuriating seeing some of the places that are out there. And maybe at first you'll walk through the house and it'll look just fine. But then you just do a little research in the tax records and it's a little concerning. Um, specifically, well, we're going to get into it right now, but um, we are doing this live. So uh, we are going to see a live chat here on the side. Uh, everyone promises to be on their best behavior. Uh, I will interact with you guys as much as I can, um, but I'll definitely save the questions till the very end. If you have any questions or anything, please leave them now and I'll make sure to answer it towards the end. But let me kind of just get it out of the way first so we can kind of go through it as quick as possible. So the first one, I think what we're going to do here is let's like set up a, like a search. Um, anybody here have a specific search three bedroom two bath give me something if not i'll just do something standard just really standard and then what i'm going to do is i'll just kind of show you guys what the houses that immediately i would look out for um maybe if one of them pops up that are the ones I already have predetermined then i can definitely pick it out but um let's see okay Let's just do a basic search here then. Do like three bedroom, two bath. Well, I'm gonna do my specific area because I know I'm not. I don't have access to the D Decatur or Decatur, Georgia. But let's just look up a basic three bedroom. But it'll be interesting. I'll actually, Caleb, I'll take you up on that. I might actually look up a different like on Zillow or something, see if it can pop up. And let's do um, single family. Let's do, I'll leave it one or two story. Let's leave it like under 450. And let's just pick out a specific pocket. I don't know, just a random area. Uh, we'll do right here. Boom, just a surprise. Okay, so we got a basic search. A5027. Hmm. Actually, I might, I might check that out right now. Okay. So, here's the first thing the house you gotta avoid. Okay, so you look at a search, and what a lot of people do is they'll sort it by the newest first. Okay, and that's definitely okay. But here's the thing that I'm going to look out for first. I'm going to just kind of, I've not, this is the first time I looked at these houses. Okay, I'm seeing a very bare bones house here. Okay. Okay. Looks lived in. Pretty, like I like when I see a house that's lived in. Like when I see a lived in house, that is a good sign for me. So I'm not really calling out like per se, like houses that are ugly or anything. Ah, here's a, here's one already. I can kind of see the issues already. Number one, whenever you encounter an over filtered house, you guys should have a red alert right away. Because if, if it's over filtered, it could be like, oh, they don't know what they're doing. Like here, they clearly turn the purple up really high, right? But I think it's a beautiful house. It's a very small, like very tight house, but it's a beautiful house. There's no need for the over filtered image. But anyways, the big one of today that I really want you guys to know about is, let's see if we can find it. I'm going to go comparable view right here. Okay. Funny enough, here's one of them right now. 
This house has been on the market for 148 days and the photos seem okay. Very o decent photos. They have like the whole uh, virtual setup. And what I appreciate about the virtual setup is they sh they have the photo right next to it, not to trick you into thinking that's how the it's it's done. But here's the issue that with houses that you guys definitely need to avoid, okay? Or at least be aware of. Whenever you encounter a brokerage that's like an e-brokerage, like open door, or like it's like those self-showing ones, open door. A lot of times Redfin will represent them and let you look at the house. Uh, we're looking at, um, what is the other one? Offerpad, they're not as popular anymore. Zillow Homes are not doing that as much anymore. But a lot of states have this very specific kind of brokerages that are like futuristic brokerages that let you see the house themselves. The problem with these brokerages is they're trying to make a profit off you for doing nothing to a house. For example, this house that I just showed you is listed for 353000 Can you guess what they bought it for? They bought it in, uh, looks like October, 2023. Okay. They bought it. Just take a guess. They currently have it listed for 353. Is that flat is a flex MLS platform better than Zillow slash realtor? Uh, well, if you have access to the MLS, yes, but the flex MLS is the Phoenix, Arizona MLS system. So if you're in a different city and state, it could be a different one. If that makes sense. So do you guys have any guesses? 310K. They bought an 150. Okay. Not bad guesses. In this specific house, they bought it. 240, good guess, 269. 260, 150. Actually, they bought it for $353,000. So they bought it for the same price that they paid for it in 2023. So I'm sure, I can't show you the tax records, but I'm sure they're at a loss right now with this specific house. So once again, they buy these houses just to put them back on the market without doing anything to it and try to get you to push it. Now, listen, this is an example of where they're clearly losing it. But the thing is, is if this house is not being able to sell for the same price that they bought it for, you have no business paying list price for this. So let's just do a quick little other research because for every house that they have for sale that they're losing on, they're still open for business. So believe it or not, they actually are still selling many houses. Let me show you. Let's just pull up one that's already like not active, but like pending. Okay. Like let's do this one in Chandler. Okay. Let's play this game. Listed for 393,000. They accepted an offer for 382,000. Can you guess what they bought this house for? Small house, but if it's Chandler, I'm imagining it's going to be, yeah, it's a hmm, closer to Gilbert. Yeah, pretty decent area. Decent area, smaller-ish house, three bedroom, 1,100 square feet. No disclosures. That's 100% right. They do not give, they give very limited or no disclosures. So it's actually interesting because I had a client who bought a Zillow house once and they like they moved in and then in the shower, they found like there was like mold or something growing up. Like oh, there was like some kind of water damage behind the shower. And we were going after Zillow. Like you guys hid this from us. And they're like, no, we had no idea. The people that we bought from didn't give us a disclosure. So Zillow wasn't in trouble because technically the seller before them didn't disclose it. So there was like, they protect themselves by layering it, if that makes sense. So 320, 395, 400. So now you guys are thinking, Oh, uh, they're not making that much money for each deal. They're just terrible and terrible business practice, right? 
they bought this house three months ago. I'm sorry, four months ago. Hmm, four months in a week or two. Only four months ago, they bought this house that they're currently selling for 382 for 360. Okay, so they added 30, 20 ish to 30 ish thousand dollars for this house. And if you look at the photos, it doesn't look like they did a damn thing. So you want to avoid these really lazy flips, lazy flips that are done either by these companies that are like e-brokerages or whatever, or whatever they call themselves, or basically any, if you, if you like have like a, a house that has an LLC attached to it, you want to just research and make sure they're not doing this lazy flip on you. Because if you think about it, you know, in this channel, we talk about wholesalers and how much I hate them. They buy houses and people with people in unfortunate circumstances, they give them the lowest amount of dollars. Let's say they buy a house for 150 K while it's under contract, they'll find another fix and flip or investor. Hey, I'll sell you this house. Um, uh, I'll give it to you for 190,000. You can potentially make uh 250 on it if you flip it. So then they'll sell it they're like as the middlemen take 40 K or 30 K or 20 K, whatever they can squeeze to give it to another investor. When, if that investor could have paid that owner one, that, that second price that they got pushed up to. Right. But they just found people in, in the button tough spot. Right. So isn't that the same thing? Is, aren't they not doing the same thing here? Let's look at another example. Hey, yeah. If, is it even a flip? Not even 10% or run. Okay. Okay. I'll give you that. Maybe the examples I've picked haven't been that drastic. So let's continue to look. Let's see if I can find. All right, here's one for you. Under contract house, three bedroom, two bath, Queen Creek, $420,000. It was 14 days in the market. Doesn't look like they did anything. They vacuumed it. But whoever lived in this house beforehand really loved this house. They put pavers in the back. What did they pay for this house? They put a new kitchen in very basic starter home, but they, they uh, actually not only is it for sale, but it's pending for 420. What do you think they paid for it? Yeah, a lot of wide angle lens you have to avoid for sure, Damon. Whoever gets this right gets, uh, I don't know. What do we say? Gets the, gets the house. We'll buy the house for them. And it's said on legal, everything on legal, everything that YouTube, every, anything that is said on YouTube is true. So just, so you know, that's right. I will buy the house for you. Got 375, 380, 405. I'm going to call it Ricky Alice's 350, 375. All right. Well, if you said. Three hundred and seventy-four thousand with three hundred dollars, not three seventy-five. Three seventy-four, three hundred. Then you got yourself a brand new house. Rogelio, what's up, man? Um, so they are 
once again, not doing anything. Buying this place for 375 and they sold it for 40k more. Just like that. 14 days later. And you get no disclosures. If you don't think there's a lot, they have 1,200 listings right now. I don't know if it does this show closed ones. No, it's just pending and active. They have a lot of freaking houses for sale right now. Okay, so this is an issue because these owners, honestly, like why not just put it on the market? Why why would they do this? They could have sold it to a home buyer for 375. You know what I mean? But now there's an inflation of this house for for $35,000 that somebody's paying for. So I mean that that's 35 that's like 10% of the house. No, 400k is not really. It's a little bit under, but you know what I'm saying. So you want to avoid these lazy flips. These lazy flips do nothing for the market. You, If you find a lazy flip, like I have a client who we found one and they bought it for like 450 and they're trying to sell it for 520. We're gonna offer them 450 because that's what the house is worth because it needs a lot of work. It's been a hundred days plus on the market, et cetera, et cetera. But you have to, is there any reason for a seller to put disclosures? Yeah, disclosures is what say is saves sellers from lawsuits. Like if I'm selling a house and I know the pool pump is broken, then as long as I disclose it to the buyers, hey, the pool pump's broken. I'm not saying I'm gonna fix it. I'm just telling you the pool pump's broken. Then when they move in and they're like, oh crap, the pool pump's broken. You didn't tell me about this. I'm suing you. No, I, bro, I told you it was broken, right? So there's a lot of them. Okay, Ricky Al says two six zero eight North. Oh, yeah, let me check that out then. Margate, Florida, or Pompano Pompano Beach, or is that the same thing? Pompano Beach. All right, uh, I'm not a fan of the whole trailer park vibe to this. So that's already a, a negative Goose Rider. Um, let's see a street view. Looks better in the photos. Looks like it's not a main road. Is this like a retirement community? First of all, I, that, I mean, I have no clear indication of the neighborhood or the area. I'm not from this area, so I'm completely ignorant. So keep keep that with, you know, take this with a grain of salt. Um, but I mean, I guess the neighborhood looks pretty well taken care of. Green grass. Everyone has nice green grass. Um, got some broken down trucks here. I'm a fan of seeing this person needs to trim their bushes. Jesus, that's the sanest thing you've ever said in the entire history of the live stream. Okay, so what you got here? You got shiny ass white floors. White on white on white on white. Okay, so I, I guess you like, I think white's the your favorite color. Even the freaking cow shops are white. Oh wow, surprisingly, they got brown cabinets. Okay, so first thing I would say is this opening is kind of odd. Did they maybe open it up? Was it like maybe half opening at one point? You know what I mean? It's just kind of like, why would you have those two walls there in the middle if it wasn't already an opening? So my guess is they probably opened it up. I would just ask for documentation on that to make sure it was done properly. Uh, kitchen cabinets look okay. A little dirty here on the fridge. A little dirty down here too. Baseboard looks not really cut well. It's already kind of giving me I don't know, a weird feeling about that. I don't know. I'm really, I'm really particular when I'm looking at houses. Um, 
looks on a smaller side. I can see how they could be tricking you, but it is definitely a smaller place. But I think that's not that's pretty obvious with the square footage. Um, this shiny tile, I got to tell you, I'm not a fan of it. Very tacky. Uh, why don't white bathroom? <laughs> oh my gosh, white door. <laughs> Everything's so white. Uh. Yeah, if you guys want, if you guys have a house for me to check out, just send me the house address. I'll check it out on Zilla right now. Uh, looks like you got some dirtiness from the washer and dryer there. Water here looks like it's improperly installed there. Not a fan of that. Electrical panels inside. This probably means this was at, this is exterior at some point, and they converted it and they they shut it in. I would just ask for documentation on that. Uh, we got side yard. Uh, rough looking fence. Love that tree. Kind of has uh, True Detective Season 1 vibes. Great show. I just watched Night Country. I don't know if I liked it as much. It was, it was interesting. Um, yeah, see, there, there's that. That's probably closed in right here. Um, when I'm looking at older... I love an older house. But one thing I hate is modified older houses. So when I see like like some BBLs on houses, you know, when they stick out of here. I'm like, why'd you do that? And can I see the documentation? Because many times they didn't get the proper uh, permits of that, and that's going to be your problem. Is that being too picky? Probably yes. But by the way, this is all on, this is under contract already. Why are you look? Why are you still having me check this out? It says under contract. You probably didn't know that because it doesn't say. Oh yeah, it says right here. Stop looking under contract houses. Is that your house? Um. Anyways, yeah. People always ask me, should we focus on under contract houses? No, it's like, are you going to hit on a girl or a boy that's engaged? Why would you do that? Woman or man, I should say. Um, all right, uh, Luis Guzman, uh, New Carlisle, Ohio. Let's see what you got. Spooky. Hmm, trying to find it, not really finding it. Why can't I find it? Why is it not popping up on the map? That's weird. I guess it's because it's Steven Circle Drive. That that's like it was like it was Avenue Avenue, you know? It's probably confusing it. New Carlisle. Ohio. Okay, I can't see Google Maps for you. Not a fan of that. All right, let's see what's up. Unkept yard, dead trees. Not dead trees. It's probably just like the time of the year. I'm assuming that they're all bare. Hmm. I would get a structural engineer to check this out just to make sure there's no issues with uh, the whole basement area. I guess siding is the look in this neighborhood. I wish I would have been able to see Google Maps. Um, I've seen this house look, has siding, so I mean, that's just what it is. Uh, ooh, what's up with that flooring? Why is, there, why is the grout so thick there? Did you see that? Can zoom in, can I? No, it's not letting me zoom in. Yeah, that that's what's up with that. They probably I don't either I don't know what the issue is here, but I, I don't like that. And and me as a buyer, I wouldn't like to have to deal with that. I want consistent grout out throughout. I'm not gonna buy someone else's mess up, you know. Um, if I'm paying if I'm getting a place, I want it to be at least in decent shape. I don't care what the market is or anything, I need it to be in decent shape. Um, the flooring looks like it was done by uh, either a uh, handyman Joe or like uh, the dad on the weekend while he meanwhile he's drinking his beer with his wife Peter on I don't like the floor I don't like that the inconsistency of the floor I don't like how they're going different directions um, they painted their kitchen green to cover their boogers I don't mean I don't know why else 
They did subway tiles. Really inconsistent. I gotta tell you, is there is that tile on the ceiling? Do you guys put tile on your ceilings? Uh, hardwood floor. Okay, that's nice. I like this. I would rather have the house be all dirty with hardwood like this. Then we can turn it into something. You know what I mean? Um, how much are solar paint normally repairs? I mean, it depends. You love the green? Well, I don't. Um, I guess a green isn't bad. Whoa. <laughs> they decided to put all their money in the bathroom. <laughs> This is like a perfect bathroom. Um, a green could be done right if it works well with the house. Uh, house inside needs a lot of, uh, unless this is already priced for fixer upper, which I wouldn't know because I'm not, I don't have access to the data here. Um, the inside does need a, a at least, not too crazy, nothing too crazy, but it needs to see more consistency. Like I don't, something's off here. You know what I mean? Like they, they would, start a project and then switch over and do a completely different vision for another project. Um, bathroom is perfect for some reason, <laughs> but you're not going to live in the bathroom unless you're like me and you have constant poop problems and you're always in the bathroom, I guess. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's your analysis. Never let your girlfriend keep you from finding your wife. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? <laughs> All right. Heck 892 Irving, Texas. 1704 South Nursery Road. All right, let's check it out. Wow. Love the red brick. <sighs> dead grass. What's up with the dead grass? This was taken February 2023. So one thing that I like, I, I mean, I, I've I've seen this happen a lot is a lot of people will get their house nice for the sale, but they won't keep it nice. So the fact that I'm seeing the grass so dead and yellow a year ago shows me that they got this house ready for the house sale. So just means you want to check for maintenance, make sure they actually maintain the house pretty well. Um, overall, cross the street from a land here. What's up with that? Um, I'd like to know a little more about this. What's going on in this area here? Love the big trees. I love the corner lot. Let's see what your neighbor situation is. Neighbors looks decent. Uh, maybe uh, it could be harsh. It looks like most of the grass is yellow. Could just be the time of season. So ignore what I said there. Um, I mean, other than your spooky trees, I mean, I guess it looks pretty okay. All right. Love the red brick. Love the roof. Looks well maintained. Um, plants look fresh. Garage looks well maintained. That looks too good. So when I look at a house like this, maybe if there were people that just like bought an older home and just like over the last six, seven years while they lived there, just made it like they're made it like really to their liking, then that love this. But is this a flip? I just want to always double check that. If not, if it's not a flip, this is really nice. I love this. I love the, the blue to the white cabinets. I love that that whole island being a different color. Has a gas stove, which is perfect for Las Tortillas. You know what I mean? Um, we got the little, the tiniest dining room in, of all time. Uh, so you just keep that in mind. Looks like, you know, oh, I guess you have another dining room right there. Um, looks like the cab cabinets are the original cabinets just look painted white. It looks like they're painted. Um, backsplash looks like a wallpaper, uh, dark gray to the white baseboard casing looks well installed. The flooring looks well installed. looks like a laminate. Love the plants inside. Um, yeah, I just, I don't think this is a flip. This feels if they, this is a flip, they did an amazing job. I think this is someone that's just lived in it and made it their own. 
Um, that dark blue, that purple bluish works for me. I like it. I like the off colored wall. I'm cheesy like that. Bathroom is in great shape. You put the tacky barnyard door everyone wants to. Other than that, looks cool. You have the seven setting shower with all kinds of features. What? Listen, just give me water that comes out of a hole. That's all I need a shower. I don't, I don't need eight different holes. I don't need, you know what I mean? Should be careful what I say. Uh, Jalen, yeah, I got you. Um, what's the impact on real estate due to TSMC new plant in the Northwest Phoenix? That's a more local question, my friend. Um, uh, that's I don't want to get too much into the local real estate stuff, and this this is more the national channel, but I will see. Looks like this is a primary bathroom, barnyard door, guest bath, guest bedroom, bathroom, office area, backyard. Oh man, they, they did a good job with that patio. Yeah, I love I love this house. There's a guest house too. Oh, it's like a little storage shed. Um, yeah, I love this house. I, I mean, of course, I would look more into it and um and do inspections and whatnot i can't give you any ideas of the price or anything if you don't have an agent already i'm happy to connect you with on the links in the description but over the overall this is i love this place i think um when i look for a house this is exactly what i look for i look for a i don't care if it's old or new i just like it to be well maintained and this is it so congrats my friend this is a good one out royal what why are you why is your girlfriend trying to find out about your wife and why why are you playing two man just just stick to one <laughs> don't have girlfriends please when you have a wife uh next we got Jalen, uh 203 hutton street gathersburg yeah hulu i got you um all right Let's figure out the price first, though. Jimmy J says about a house for 340. Summer Massachusetts, Massachusetts, sorry, worth 370 now, according to numerous sites. Yeah, I mean, if you're buying a house in the last year or two, you're not doing it for for investment purposes, but obviously it's worked well for you. Hey, Fabiola. Um, uh, yeah, so good for you, but don't don't expect that to continue for other people though. All right, five hundred ten thousand. Looks like we're looking at old classic siding house. Hey, my first house was a siding house. It was light blue. Uh, loved it. I still dream about it. I still have dreams about it, like the simpler times of that house. Just a small little three bedroom, one bathroom with no AC. It was a giant AC in the kitchen. But um, as you progress in life, you you find yourself uh often thinking and remembering the simpler times i'm about to start crying all right let's see 510 is pricey let me look at the area so it looks like this particular neighborhood loves their big front yards green grass every yard very nice um why why do i make a big deal about the green grass uh i i like seeing a neighborhood where everyone cares about their house in the neighborhood. I don't care if they're renters or owners. There's just something to be said about that. The type of people that you have to be to care about something that's you, you live in, I think speaks to the character of not only the person, but the neighborhood. And obviously this is a neighborhood that cares about their house. Um, yeah, these houses look really great. Great shape, great condition. I love the love the vibe. Um, not all of them are siding though. There's some brick ones here, but most of them are siding. Yeah, I like the neighborhood. Giant trees everywhere. Jeez Louise. Please don't buy out in Palmdale. Keep saving. You got some kind of a secret, Mike? In Arizona, it does take a lot of grass. Yeah, well, that's why a lot in Arizona, we don't have grass in our front yards. If you notice, Arizona, we have a lot of like desert landscaping. Yeah, Kim Lender, that house is an escrow. Thank you. 
Yeah, Julio, stop sending me stop sending me under contract house, guys. Thank you, Kim. All right. So overall, I like the neighborhood. Hmm. Not a flip, is it? Here's why I'm concerned it's a flip. It's completely vacant and it looks like it's been in great shape. I would confirm it's not a flip. It looks like it's staged. Maybe they moved out already, who knows? Hardwood, love that. Looks like you got some cond condensation in the window here, or it could just be the photography, I don't know. But that's usually a bit sign that the windows are shot. And if there's condensation in one windows, there's probably con yeah, it looks like it might be the window. I feel like I can smell this house. Um basement I'm assuming I can smell the weed in this basement huh it's a cute house very okay yard a really big yard actually I'm not yeah it's pretty decent yard um, Hmm. Something feels a little bit um, inorganic, like this has been created. I would just verify the tax records to make sure it's not a flip. If it's a flip, just be super aware. If I'm wrong and it's just completely an owner that lived here and they just left it and they had it like decorated, then okay. But... There's just parts of this house that feel modern and other parts that aren't. Um, I find myself, I find my red flags popping up more than actually my, my enjoyment of the house. I, don't, I guess I don't, it has character, yeah, I guess. I, like I said, I don't mind older house, I just, why don't I, what's, 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 what's taking me off? Let me, let me look at it again. Like they put the recessed lighting, which is an upgrade. It's definitely not built in the forties there. They, yeah. So this isn't even, okay. I see what's going on. This is fake furniture. Okay. See, I hate when they do that. I hate when they do that. If they're going to do that, then at least put the next picture to be without the furniture, which I guess they, yeah. Like, is this fake too? Yeah, it's fake. Cause is it? It could be a, it could be a decent house. It's just the way the flow of these photos are are very I don't like it. Um I'm always impressed. Thank you, Mike. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> a lot of times you guys think I'm just out here shilling like, "Hey guys, buy houses." <laughs> Un unfortunately, um I've been doing this 10 years and in this life you get good at a few things. There's only short enough time to get get at a few things, and for me, um, I've looked at so many houses that I can just just get a feel for what I'm looking at right away. Uh, no Google Maps. What's up with that? You're very close to these stores here. Can I drop in here? Why can't I drop in here? Why does it say Marisol Lopez? Like a house. Just let me get a feel for the neighborhood here. I'm just dropping in here. Hmm. 180K, New Jersey. Interesting. That's cheap. Once again, I have no idea anything about the neighborhood, so please keep that in mind.
it it has character it's character it's it has character is a red flag um i i disagree mark uh arbuckle not my uh, mike um i disagree i think character is, is is there you know someone could have a vision for a house it doesn't it doesn't mean that it's a red flag like someone had a specific vision and they they accomplished it and then the real estate got that vision the agent got that vision and they marketed it that way i think it's a great thing i think it, it shows um it's not only great marketing but i mean it's it shows love for a house for me the, one of the better things i can find is is when i find a house that has been loved um there's just something great about like a place that, I mean, having a house is not just like, oh, I own my place or whatever. Even if you rent, it's like a place where memories are made or good memories are supposed to be made a place where your family comes to. It's like a center, like a place for someone that didn't really have a home growing up. It's so important to me. And I feel when someone has a specific vision that which my wife is very good at, I give her kudos for this. If they have a specific vision and they actually happen every every and they have built a character, then I go for that. Um, like the house before the one I just saw was really good and I liked it, but there's just something I'm, and sometimes I, I don't know, I've been doing this so long. Sometimes I can't really quite describe. Oh, I just didn't have a great feeling about the last one. Um, so it looks like your basic two story townhouse, uh, looks like flooring hasn't been updated in a while. Very basic was like 12 by 12 and then 15 by 15, 18 by 18 tile. Brand new appliances for some reason. Fancy toilet. Good thing they took a photo of that toilet. It was very necessary. Washer and dryer. Laminate in the top. That's not hard with laminate. This is a very basic two-story townhouse. Nothing fancy about it. It'd probably be very easy to comp out. Just make sure you're not overpaying for it. But basically, yeah, pretty straightforward. Um. Since you're in Arizona, Javier, what do you use your opinion on buying historic Glendale? There's a real cheap one on Zillow and needs to be completely remodeled. I think it depends on what time of your life you're in. I once sold a house in historic Glendale to uh, two people who they were just like these, they were bartenders. I think they worked at a restaurant and they were buying it because my mentor owned the house and he, he's been renting him out for years to them and they, he sold it to them just on for cheap. Um, like, Right now, would I move my three kids and my wife over there? Probably not. But if my wife and I had no kids and we were both like cool and like, you know, just like chilling, vibing and had paying jobs and just kind of enjoying life, going to school or something, I'll do it. I'd do, I'd live in downtown. I live in historic Glendale. Um, but if it needs a lot of uh, work, make sure you have the funds and the time to do it. Mark says, no, I understand that. I was referring to the House Hunter show. They would say it has character. However, the basement has mold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those stupid House Hunters. I cannot, I cannot stand. I cannot stand those HGTV shows. I know you guys love them. I know you guys love them. Um, it, the ones I, that are, it sounds cheesy, but the ones that actually are like, okay, I would watch this is that Joanna Gaines one. Um, but. Blah. Um, I got time for one more. If you guys want to send me the house, um, yeah, this, this has been fun. It's been fun roasting your guys' houses. Is it roasting? It's more, it's more, uh, it's like a friendly 450 K for this. Over filtered. Why is it over filtered? I don't like this. We can tell it's over filtered because the blues here aren't really matching up. You can see the whites near this. Why? Why do you do this, agents? What are you hiding? Is that it? That can't be it. Oh, it's this one? This one, right? Yeah, it's that one. See, see what happened? Did they? This is brown. It's red here. 
They probably painted it yellow. I'm not going to. Why is the cactus smaller than what is this? 2022. They probably had it trimmed. I'm assuming. Can you trim a cactus? Ugh, I hate when they oversaturate stuff like this. Please, please don't fall for this crap, guys. Um, this it's like retirement community, maybe? No. Yeah, it's just it's this house is dated. I don't mind a dated house. I prefer a dated house because in. But you're going to need time and money to make this more modern if that's the vibe you're going for. Uh, I can tell just the carpet's probably old. It has popcorn ceiling still. There's The outlets are yellowed. That means that the the it's been plenty, probably way, they need to get changed, replaced. And by the way, it's not cheap to replace outlets. So just learn how to do it and or just hire someone to do it. Um, the windows look like they're still single pane windows. That's going to be, if you want to make it more energy efficient, it's going to be uh, definitely a big cost. Um, it looks like maybe this is like an estate situation where someone passed away because it's just very much like someone was living on it and maintained it, but it's just all really old. Um, I have no idea about the neighborhood. 450 does seem too high for this specific kind of house, but I mean, once again, I don't know the neighborhood. Uh, around here, 480, 460, 500. I mean, it does look cheaper. So maybe, if people, some people are like, oh, it's too expensive. Uh, like Fabiola said right now, but but we don't know. Like it's all it's all perspective. It's all depending on where you're looking at. There's specific pockets where 450 is cheap, and there's a specific pockets where 450 is way overpriced. This may be a really underpriced. I'm not here to judge you on where you live, um, but the house is okay. It's it, it needs a lot of like modernizing if you have the money and you get this for a good price this will be a fun project for you but when you're done with this house it'll look like a old house still it'll just be nice on the inside because that's the thing you buy an older home there's a difference between an older home that you can make look into something more just nice and traditional versus something that's just gonna look old and just the front here is just gonna always look older because it has that smaller it has that vibe to it um, okay, well, that's all the time we have for today, everybody. Thanks for stopping by the live stream. I appreciate every one of you. Um, if this is the first time you're watching live, uh, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, do what you got to do. Uh, well, not comment. You're already here commenting, I suppose. Um, we'll be uh, coming back. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll go live when we go live. There's a Discord if you want to go below, and all my links are in the bottom, so feel free to check it out. Connect with me in whatever way you want. Um, shout out to Mike Petty. Uh, Mark Arbuckle, Luckiest Mist, uh, Jalen, uh, any, anybody who basically submitted her house. Um, I appreciate you guys being brave enough to do that. So thank you guys. Have a good one, okay?